way back on Calvary. Yes, Christ is all, all in all this world can be. Christ is all. away the stone. Jesus said, take away the stone. Yeah. This is what we want to say to you today. Take away the stone. In other words, to receive a blessing from the Lord, one must make preparation. Praise him. You cannot be successful even in natural things without making some sort of preparation. The reason why you, uh, your children are going to school, young people and even some older people, is, is to make preparation. Praise God too, that they might be able to get along better in this life. Now, 
In order for one to advance in this life naturally, he must make preparation. Praise him. Amen. You know, there are a lot of people that got big things in mind, things that they want to do, but they don't want to make no preparation. Praise him. I believe when it comes down to a man or a woman making the mind that they want to get married, I believe before marriage take place, there ought to be some preparation. Praise him. I believe that, son. Yeah, can I preach what I believe? I believe, and you hear me real good. Amen. If that man can't afford a wife, I believe he shouldn't marry. Praise the Lord. Because marriage is more than a kiss. Somebody got to take care of someone. So you got to make preparation. Praise him. Hey Amen. Sometimes you see him making preparation, get, getting their home or their apartment. Praise God. What you doing? I'm getting ready to get married. I'm making preparation. Yeah. So when I get mad, I have a place to stay. Praise him. And I don't believe, praise God, anybody ought to marry thinking about staying with daddy. Y'all get quiet on me. If you can't afford a house, you can't afford a wife. I'm talking about the natural things now. Praise Him. If you can't afford a place for your wife to live, you don't need to get married yet. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see, a lot of people just got in their mind what they want to do. But they don't sit down and count up no call. Counting up calls is mean that I'm, praise God, see what I mean. Yeah. Even when it comes down to buying an automobile, one have to make preparation. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. What we doing? I want to get a good down payment. Because the more I have to put down on it, the less my payments will be. Yeah. And you should never go into buying anything Think about just getting it. You ought to think about keeping it. You ought to think about the monthly notes. Praise God. Amen. You ought to think about what you're making, what you got coming in. Don't count on your part-time job. Praise Him. Because that's something to fade out. Even your full-time job, you can't depend on it. Praise Him. So, amen, we need to see whether I can afford this car. I may be able to get it, but can I keep it? Praise God. But people that make the right preparation, when they go into a thing, praise God, they're not only able to purchase it, but they're able to keep it. Praise God. So we are talking about him and salvation. In order for you to get saved, you've got to make preparation. Praise him. You can't just sit around and do nothing. First thing, you got to get it in your mind and in your heart that you want to be saved. Praise the Lord. I want to be saved. Praise God. I'm ready to make that commitment. I'm ready to deny myself. I'm ready to do whatever I have to do to be saved. Praise the Lord. Yeah, man, it's time for somebody to get something on their mind. And I'm talking about salvation. Praise the Lord. Everywhere you go, you find folks walking around like they're going to live always. Praise the Lord. And then, man, you find people that say they're saved, living so slack and unconcerned, as though, praise God, they're going to live and never die. Amen. But, honey, we're going to leave here. Prepared or unprepared, we're going to leave here. And we need to get this on our mind. That I'm going to leave here. There's only two places you can go. With God or either the lake. Now you got to make your mind up which one you want. Praise God. And I preached some time ago. What is it is in hell that people want? Because the life that they're living, they're heading right for hell. So it must be something there that you want. Praise our God. There's nothing in hell I want. Well, that cause, that's why I repented of my sin. 
Amen. We're baptized and received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God and live in because I want to hear the Lord say, well done. And let me tell you, praise God. Amen. To live for God, one must make a sacrifice. You've got to make preparation. You've got to make up in your mind, I'm going to forsake my way. I'm going to put down my way. And I'm going to accept the way of God. Do you know what's a, the, amen, the problem with a lot of people today? They haven't made up in their mind to give up nothing. Amen. Jesus said, if any man come out to me, let him do a first thing, deny himself. Amen. Praise him. Amen. I'm ready to say, not what I will, Lord, but thy will be done. Praise him. Amen. you got to deny yourself. Praise him. You can't have your way. You can't live for God and the devil too. Praise God. You've got to make up your mind which side of the fence you want to be on. Praise him. And amen. Now God is, is able to bless you. Praise him. God is able to deliver you. Praise him. But you got to do first thing first. Praise him. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to the 16th chapter. Of Saint Mark. Not the whole year long. Amen. Sixteen and sixteen. What is that? Now listen what the words say. He that believeth. Yeah. This is what you got to do first. You got to believe. You believe. You can get anything you want from the Lord. Praise the Lord. He that believe and is baptized, the saint shall. I love God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? I want my witnesses to help witness with me today. Praise the Lord. How many of y'all know if you do it this way, you will find yourself saved? He that believe. Not doubt it, but believe and is baptized. The same shall be saved. Praise the Lord. And if anybody here today want to be saved, you got to believe. Praise the Lord. Y'all don't make no difference how long you say Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. You got to believe that Jesus. Come on, talk to him. Praise him. Amen. Life of the say, call Jim, but honey, you got to believe. Amen. If anybody in here received the Holy Ghost by calling on Jesus, it's nothing wasn't because they was calling Jesus, it was because they believed Jesus. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Praise, Praise the Lord. If you believe that Jesus, Amen. you shall be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it won't be no long time doing it. Amen. This is why some people receive it in the pew. Yeah. Sitting up in the pew. Yeah. Because when the word go forth, they believe the word. Yeah. And when you believe the word of God, you believe in Jesus. Because yeah. he is the word. Yeah. And the word is Jesus. Yeah. Praise our God. Yeah. If you believe, you've got to get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The time somebody received the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. The longer you live without it, the harder you're going to get. Praise him. And some of you that say you got it, you don't got cold. You need to be revived. Praise the Lord. You need to cry, Lord, revive me again. Praise God. You know why you can't praise God in the house? Because you don't have joy. Come on with me. It takes some joy for folk. Amen to praise the Lord. The Bible said the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, that is liberty. It don't have to be in them, it can be in you. And if it's in you, you've got his freedom. My God, it's not hard for you to praise the Lord. It's not hard for you to clap your hands. It's not hard for you to give God a hand wave. 
It's not hard for you to run up and down the aisle. It's not hard for you to praise God because I got joy like a river. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I got joy. Not rhythm. I got joy. Hallelujah. Not putting on. Thing just comes on. Folks said it got the Holy Ghost and can't move. Something wrong somewhere. Praise our God. I don't say you have to be jumping every minute. By the clay you ought to move sometime. Let's say praise the Lord. Let's say praise the Lord. You ought to give me vent to the Spirit sometime. If the Spirit of God that brought Jesus from the dead is in you, honey, you can't be still. Now you can. Praise Him. Because you find Him in your hand. You find Him in your feet. You find it all in your body. You find it all over you. Folks praying God looking at you saying hallelujah. They don't know what's going on in down on the inside because there's something on the inside manifesting on the outside. That's what people need. They need something on the inside. You don't need the devil neither. I'm talking about you need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, man, you don't need to talk it out of your mouth. You need something on the inside that will help you to go forward. You need something on the inside. When you feel like backing up, it tell you to go forward. Somebody said there's something about the Holy Ghost. I can't explain. Amen, but all I can tell you, Brother Isaiah, I got it. Praise the Lord. Mother Hive, all I can say, I got it. Amen, I've been trying to explain the thing. Been trying to tell you about it. Amen, but I might as well shut up, praise God, and to tell the world, I got it. And if you got it, it's going to manifest itself. Praise God. Read that again, daughter. Praise the Lord. My God don't care who you are. He that believe it. I dare you to believe it. Folks, I've been baptized. Praise God, but you didn't believe it. Huh? He that believe it. And is baptized. Y'all hear me today. Hear the word of God. She reading out the Praise the Lord. Everybody that have the Holy Ghost, they receive it because they believe. Praise the Lord. You speak in tongues because you believe. Huh? First thing you did, you made preparation by repenting. Huh? When a person repents, the Bible way, I'm talking about the Bible way, he become as a person that has died. Lord help us today. Praise him. Let man praise God like Jesus went down in a, in a natural grave. When you were buried in water in his name, you are buried in the watery grave. And like when Jesus came up out of the grave, the world didn't see him anymore. When you come up out of that pool, praise God, after the preacher bear you, the world ain't got no business seeing you no more. If the world is seeing you, praise God, you have never died. And it's a crime to bear lies. It's just the new law of the law, land to bury somebody alive. Let's say praise the Lord. Praise him. Amen. So, amen, when you believe like you ought to believe, God will give you the Holy Ghost. Huh? Praise God, you young girls and young boys around here. Praise God, don't have the Holy Ghost and God just taking care of you. Let me tell y'all something. Amen. Sometimes if it wasn't for your parents, you would have been gone. You got praying parents. Parents that will request prayer for you. That will ask another saint to pray with me. I need some help in prayer. Praise him. 
It's not because you're beautiful, not because you're strong, not because you're so knowledgeable, amen, but prayer right. is being made in your behalf. Huh? Y'all know the story of Job, how his sons and his daughters, whenever they would throw a feast, praise God, Job got a sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Amen. Prayer. Well, amen. Pray of the righteous man availeth much. Prayers of the righteous carries great influence with God. Praise the Lord. When a person lives right and approaches the throne of God, he calls God attention. God pay attention to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You got a praying mama, praying papa, praise God, and some saints praying for you, praise God. That's the reason why the devil haven't got hold of you. But you let them stop praying, and you'll be, re be, be reading by you in the paper. Praise God. Y'all ever get something on your mind? Praise Him. You need the Holy Ghost. You need to make preparation for the Holy Ghost. Praise God. God ready right now to save somebody. God ready right now to fill somebody with the Holy Ghost. If they can believe, praise God, God is ready. Yes. Amen. All you got to do is move the stone out the way. Yes. Thank God out there that is keeping God from coming to you. Yes. Keeping the Lord from blessing you. Yes. You need to move it out of the way. Yes. My God, my God. Finish reading that door. He that believeth in his baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not, hallelujah, hallelujah, if you don't believe it, you shall be dead. Amen. If God, you have condemned, you got to go to the lake. That burn with fire and brimstone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God only got one thing for the people, and that is the Holy Ghost. And if you don't want holiness, ain't nothing else for you but hell. Amen. Praise God. Lazarus, when he died, he was taken by the angel and placed in the bosom of Abraham, which at that time was called paradise. Place of rest. Wasn't suffering no more. Praise the Lord. He suffered while he was alive. Praise him. And he suffered unto the end. Praise him. He held out to the end. And when the end came for him, God rescued him and put him in a place of rest. Praise the Lord. And after you finish with this life, you ought to want a place of rest. The rich man, praise God, had the same opportunity. Amen. That loud was had. He had a chance to repent. He had a chance to do it right. But no, he chose to do it the other way. He wanted the big time. Amen. He wanted the fast living. He wanted to please his flesh. Just like a lot of folks today. Praise God. They don't want to give up nothing. They don't want to turn loose anything. They want to do it their way. I was thinking as I was coming to the church from the airport. How some people don't mind singing the praise of God. How they don't mind what He didn't want gold. He didn't want silver. He wanted blood. A pure blood. Hallelujah. One writer said that heaven was such. Couldn't find nobody. The earth was such. Couldn't find a soul. Beneath the earth. All down in the sea Among the finny tribe Couldn't find nobody In heaven Among the angelic hosts Couldn't find nobody John said I Was just about to weep Cause I couldn't find nobody The grown man bound But when I was getting ready To shed some tears Angel cried out said weep not behold the lamb of god would take us away the sins of the world hallelujah jesus to take away 
the sins of the world. He died that we might be free. It was my place to be on that. It was your place to be on that tree. It was your hand that should have felt. Hallelujah. The nail that was drove through his hand. It was supposed to be your feet to feel the spikes. That when it was spiked to the cross. Hallelujah. But he know you and I was not able. We couldn't bear. Hallelujah. We was pitiful. We was helpless. We were doomed. But yet God loved us. Hallelujah. The Bible said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever did believe in him should not perish. Oh, saints of God, my friend, you that are not saved, you don't have to go to the cross. But all you can do is believe in the one that died on the cross for you and I. Hallelujah. He became sin for us because the Bible said curses every man that hang on a tree here's a man that mocked him up and down the judgment hall all night long they spit on him they smote him with the palm of the hand they ridiculed him they mocked him they scold him but he died for you and I he died for the one that smote him he died for the one that spit in his face he died for the one that ridiculed him he died for the one that made fun of him he died for the whole world least you can do is to make preparation to meet him let the church say amen let's say hallelujah Why? We were yet sons. That's all you want. If you're not saved now, that's all you want. You ain't nothing but a sinner. Praise the Lord. I don't care how you look. Praise him. He died for the poor man. Sometimes when people talk about poor man, first thing to think about the ghetto. The thing about the one on welfare. The thing about the one that is outdoors and become to be homeless. Don't have that need. But there's some middle nerds. There's some bigger nerds. And just as poor as poor can be. Jesus died for him. Because when you don't have Jesus, you are poor. When you don't have Jesus, you are in poverty. Praise him. You are poverty stricken. Praise him. How you may have all the money, but you are poor. Hallelujah. The rich man got to do like the amen. The man that we call poor, he got to repent. He got to go down in the water. He got to come up. Walk in the news of life. He got to receive the Holy Ghost. He got to live holy. Just like you and I. 
I don't know about you, but Brother Rutless, I'm glad the man thought enough of me to take my place on the cross. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He looked beyond my faults. Saw my need. Let me tell you something. If God would look on sin, nobody would be forgiven. Help me hold it up. If God would like some of us, we don't look at what you've done until you die. And even if you die while you're at your wake, we'll talk about what you did. And at your funeral, we'll talk about what you did. When we go back to the church or the home, eating food, we'll talk about what you did. But you see, God took our sin and threw it behind that's mean he's not looking on it. The Bible said God was a man that would mark iniquity. Who would stand? He forgives you of your sins. And you don't need to let the devil fool you. And try to make you believe that you still got it. Huh? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, how many of y'all know you have the Holy Ghost? I'm talking about on the inside. Huh? Holy Ghost on the inside. You don't know how it got in there. But it's in there. Stripped naked. Can't see where it's in there. But it's in there. And I'm going to keep it in there. Because when I got it inside, I got joy. I feel for folks that say they got the Holy Ghost. And such a spirit, they don't have no joy. My Bible tells me, and I'm a witness of it. That when God filled me, he filled me with joy. And with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something what the Holy Ghost will help you do. The Holy Ghost will help you to smile when things are not going well. Huh? It'll make you look like you are trouble free. Huh? And it could be about to fall out. But God put a smile on the face. See, because the saints got to be encouraged. Huh? Encouraged. Why are you to tell somebody about getting saved? And every time you look around, you cry and pull out. Huh? Amen. Hey Amen. We can't never talk positive. Always got to be a negative conversation. Praise him. Let me tell you something. God is not a past tense God. But he's a present God. He's not blessed in the past and not doing nothing now. If you're not doing anything for you now, because you start walking with him. Huh? The more you walk with him, the more you ought to have. The, amen. He said, draw nigh to me, and I'll draw nigh to you. Praise God. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he will exalt you in due season. Let the church say amen. I, amen. I'm so glad. Amen. I made preparation. You got to make preparation if you want to be saved. Praise the Lord. You got to get it in your heart and in your mind. I want to be saved. And you got to be, get it like this. Nothing else matters. I just want to be saved. Let's say praise the Lord. Thing goes better with Jesus. Amen. We got people that was on drugs. And they're testifying what God did for them. Oh, yeah. Amen. Praise God. And some people know what they're talking about. Some people are talking about what they heard. 
but it's what they see. But some people talk about what they have experienced. One day I decided I wanted to live better. I want something that will keep me living right. Praise God. I wanted something that would help me to overcome. You see, amen, it's not going to make me overcome. But it will help me to be an overcome. Praise Him. So get it out of your mind that the Holy Ghost is going to make you. Is that a supposed you? If you got in your mind to live right, the Holy Ghost is there to help you. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you want to go back, you can go back. If you want to go on, you can go on. You got to make up in your mind. When things are rough, you got to make up your mind. You got to make up in your mind, son, I'm going to praise him anyhow. Hey man, we got Job for witness. Job said, though you slay me, but yet will I trust in you. I'm going to keep on smiling. I'm going to keep on loving Jesus because he's the best thing that ever happened to me. Praise the Lord. When I'm down, he can help me. When I need a deliverance, he can deliver me. Praise him. Amen. Move the stone out of the way. So I'm saying to you today that want a blessing from the Lord, move the stone. And sometimes the stone is your contrariness, your stubborn way. You set in your way. You got a way you want the Lord to bless you. Praise Him. You, I don't care what nobody else said, the preacher said, the teacher said, the exalter said, I'm going to show you I can get it my way. And may I remind you, may I call you to your attention. You know you haven't got it yet. The Bible says there's a way that seems right unto man. But the end is death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He has Lazarus who was dead. And he had been dead for long days. Praise him. And here Jesus said, I'm gone. That I might wake him. And somebody said, Lord, if he sleep, he doeth well. But they didn't know that he was sleeping the sleep of death. Praise him. So Martha, when Jesus came, said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And I know now, Lord, that even whatever you ask of, he'll give it to you. Praise him. Jesus said, Martha, you're going to see your brother again. She said, yes, Lord. I know in the day of resurrection. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something, saints. We don't need to talk about heaven so much. We need help now. Praise the Lord. We need something now to help us to make it through here. You make it through here and do it right, heaven will be yours. You do it right, you will make heaven his holiness now and his heaven later. Let's say praise the Lord. Folks talking about when we all get to heaven. Come on, forget about that. Get together down here and we will make heaven. Hallelujah. Let's talk right to one another here. Let's love one another right here and we will meet in the rapture. Praise him. You know, I have to even sing all here. Amen. You say, Lord, I want you to help me. 
Lord, I want you to help. Lord, I want you to help me. Help me on my way. We need help. Huh? And if we get the help we need now, we can make the route. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And that man is so. And Jesus let her know, Martha, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth on me, though he was dead, yet shall he live again. You know what he's talking about? All those believers that died believing on me, they're going to live again. Praise God. Those that died, praise our God, in the faith, died, praise God, before I came. Amen. Believing on me. They're going to see me again. Because Job asked the question, if a man die, shall he live again? And I had Job say, all the days of my opponent time, will I wait till my change come? Looked like there was hope for trees, but there was no hope for man. Praise God. Amen. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. You may go to sleep, but go to sleep believing. You shall rise again. Let the church say amen. Jesus said to him, said, where have you laid him? And she said, Lord, by this time, he's thinking. You know, when God want to do something for us, we can offer up a lot of excuses. Instead of go head on and believe God and get the job done. He didn't ask her how about him stinking. He said, where have you laid him? You see, Jill was human and divine. At time he spoke and he act like a human man. According to the human understanding, he don't know everything. He got to do some inquiring. He got to ask where are they? Where they living? Or where you living? But being God Almighty, he knows everything. Amen. Martha said by this time he's thinking. But I heard Jesus said, Amen. Take ye away the stone. Move the stone out of the way. Come on, children. Such yourself. Check yourself out. Whatever your stone is, move it right now. I dare you to move the stone. If you move the stone of doubt, praise God. Amen. Faith take over. You can believe God and he'll give you the Holy Ghost. You can believe God. He'll help you to make it. But you got to move the stone. Get it out. Get it out of the way. Hallelujah. Your stone is not loud as stone. But whatever your stone is, I plead with you. I beg you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it out the way. The Lord want to bless. The Lord want to deliver. But you got to move. Praise our God. I don't know what your stone is. But you know what it is. You got to work on it. Hallelujah. Choir. If there's a stone in any of you, move it out the way. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say, I want to live so God can use me anytime and anywhere. I want to walk so God can use me. I want to live so I can be an effective witness. I want to 
live, sir, that my word will carry power. I want to live, sir, that my light shine, that I don't have to put a badge on. I don't have to be hollering all the time. But my life will speak for me. Move the stone. Move the stone. There's something in the way. Some of y'all been sick in the Holy Ghost for a long time. Oh, amen. Maybe you wasn't, maybe you have stopped seeking. Maybe I got it wrong. Because there ain't no way in the world somebody can seek the Holy Ghost all these years. And uh, amen, and don't receive it. Huh? Somebody praying. Amen. Somebody driving. Somebody not sincere. Yeah. Praise him. Somebody seeking, but they're not seeking God. Seeking materialistic things. Huh? When it comes down to God, we got too many excuses, saints. Praise the Lord. When there is no excuse. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't mean to sound unfair. Praise God, but the Bible says we are without excuse. Every time you try to offer one, think about it. Think it over. Amen. And you will change your mind. Because you, amen, there is no excuse. Because Jesus bundled up all the excuses and carried them back with him. Praise our God. Amen. He said, my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Come on, saints. Amen. You find living holy hard. Come on, talk to me. Do you find living right hard? Do you find it hard? I dare you to say, yeah. I'll tell you why it's hard. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, the way of a transgressor is hard. Huh? If you're living right, it's hard to you. You transgress. You straddle the fence. And you can't walk straddle the fence. You got to get on one side or the other. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you can walk upright. Because God is with those that are upright. Let's say praise the Lord. Come on with me, son. You don't have to fear nothing because you're walking upright. You're living right. You're acting right. You're talking right. You is right. As long as you're right, you got God on your side. Praise Him. My God, tell me in the word, say, Rosa, you stick with me, I'll be with you. That's what He told me in the word. Now I accept that for myself. Praise Him. He said, if you stick with me, if you be with me, I'll be with you. Praise Him. And I find the Lord is doing that, saints. Praise the Lord. The Lord is helping me. Yes, he is. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's keeping me going. Praise him. He's blessing my eyes. Praise him. Oh, yes, he is, saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you don't know like I know. No, you don't. Because I'm the one looking through these things. And I know how it was. And I know how it is now. It may not be 100%, but I know it's so much better than what they used to be. Let's say praise the Lord. One time I couldn't hardly see the white line in the highway. Now I can look up the road. I don't have to look right over the hood to see how to drive no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's how I had to do things. Cause my eyes were just that bad. I had just, I couldn't look up Bigger, no, I could I had to look right over the hood to see the white line. And when I didn't see no white line, I was just feeling. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If the Lord don't do no more for him, I thank him for what he done. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise him. During the whole time, my eyes was bad. I went where I wanted to go. Do I have any witnesses here? Some of y'all were praying, you were crying for me, weeping for me. Pray God, you say I was hard-headed. Praise the 
Praise the Lord. And the whole time, I never got a scratch on my car. A lot of time I couldn't see the sign on the pole. A lot of time I couldn't even, couldn't even see the sign if it was raining. Many times I ran up there and I almost ran past the intercession. When I worked on this man bus yet, praise God, I don't believe he know why my eyes were. Praise the Lord. Tow that motor all the way down. Praise the Lord. Put it all the way back together. Made one mistake. And then I left the fuel line loose. Praise him. Tighten that line up, chain that all, and it's been running ever since. The Lord did it. Praise him. That, that to me, that's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about what the Lord do. When it came time to get my driving license, I was really shaking. I was really, I was actually afraid. Praise him that I wasn't going to be able to get up. Went down there a month ahead of time. Just to peep me that they see, could I see them letters? I see them, but I couldn't make out not one. So I wasn't worried because I still had a money I could drive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And that man went back down there, told the doctors, I said, hey Amen, I can't see them letters. Praise him. Hey Amen. So when I went back to get it the second time, I still couldn't. The Lord fixed it so when the doctor filled the paper, because see now when you get in Maryland, when you get a, the application for your license to be renewed, you got to fill out what's wrong with your condition. Praise God. So they wrote and told about my eye. So all I do, the man took and said, come on back here and take the picture. Praise God. I got it in my pocket. Praise God. I can drive four more years. Praise him. All they ask me to do two things. Make sure when I'm driving, I have my glasses on. Amen. And a car with red view mirror. Praise him. Now I get into the play look like I can see better with the glasses off. Praise him. I'm talking about first driving. But when I'm getting ready to read, I still got to put them on. But I looked at my big print bow the other day and I was able to make the letters out without the glasses. Right. Praise him. Let me tell you something, saint. It pays to live right. Praise him. Hallelujah. God worked it out for me. God is still working it out. Let's say praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to trust him. Amen. Because the Lord knew. I didn't want to be bound. I did not want to wait and have to wait for somebody come pick me up and carry me where I want to go. Hallelujah. I didn't want to depend on the church folk. I didn't want to depend on the brother. Because sometimes you have good intentions, but you just can't do it. And I want to move when I get ready to move. Praise the Lord. Amen. When we went to Tallahassee, Nate, amen, Mother Harvey's grandson drove by all the way. Amen. Ella Walker drove from Tallahassee to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's over a thousand miles from him. And amen. Coming from Fort Lauderdale wasn't nobody but me and Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you come straight home, Lord? No. I wanted to stop in Somerville. I went on into some of them. I stayed there until that Monday morning. Got up early in the morning. Got on the road. Made it home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord will help you, saints. We need the Lord. We need the Lord. Yes, we do. We need him. Praise God. I said, the Lord don't do no more for me. Yes. I, amen, I thank him. Yes. 
for what he have done. Yes. Amen. I remember the time. I could look back in the back there and see Brother Char. Yes. I, amen. I didn't know who he was. Well. I can make out him. Yes. I can make out, amen, praise God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Deacon uh, Mother Harvest. Carol. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. I can make out, amen, Brother Deacon Henderson. Yes. I can make out Callahan. Yes. Praise him. Yes. Amen. I can look back and I can reckon no. Praise him. You two couldn't do it. Hallelujah. God is a good God, sir. Let the church say amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. It's time for y'all to move the stone out the way. Get it out. Move it. Move it. Praise God. My God, preacher preaching last night, power in the blood. Praise God. Power is in the blood. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. And you that don't have the blood of Jesus, you need a blood transfusion. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, amen, amen. I don't know what your types are, but mine is old. And they got O plus and all these things. But praise God, you can't find out, amen, rate what Jesus on is. So the only thing you can call it pure blood. Huh? What type do you have, Jesus? Pure blood. Woo! Pure blood. Blood, praise God, able to move your sins away. God on the day of Pentecost, folk cried out, Midian brother, what shall we do? Peter said, repent every one of them. Lord, if I can get somebody to repent today, somebody will receive the Holy Ghost. Repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remove me. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin for the removing of your sin. Huh? You know what I tell me? I tell me if you haven't been buried in Jesus' name, His name, huh? A lot of folks need a blood transfusion. You need the blood of Jesus. Make preparation. Make preparation. Get right and do it now. Time is running out. Of time is running out. It's time to get right. Praise God. Coming to church is good. Keep on coming. But it's better to get saved. Amen. Praise God. Because none but the righteous is going back with the Lord. Huh? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I'm not talking about talking pure or pretending, but be pure. Be pure. Live God's life. Amen. Huh? Jesus said, because I live, you shall what? Live. And because I, amen, have overcome, you shall overcome. Praise God. This thing, what we're trying to tell you about today, has been tested in the flesh. Yes, it has. Yeah. God didn't put something on you. That wasn't tested. He tested him first. Yeah. That means he took on human flesh. 
that he might be able to deal with human beings. Praise God. Amen. Amen. When you come, when you approach Jesus and say, Lord, they're talking about it, you know exactly how you feel. Amen. Because they talked about him. Say, so, Lord, they mistreat me. Or they mistreat me. He know exactly how you feel. Amen. Because he was mistreated. And that means that in all points, he was tempted as we are. Yet, he didn't sin. Praise God. Amen. And amen. Look at him. I was reading in a book. And this man was describing the ark. And he was crying, talking about the wolf. Huh? The wood that the ark was made out. And he was naming the thing that different people call it. Huh? Say that, hey amen, it had to be a wood that could float and the wood was, and hey amen, would stay on the water. Praise him. But he said, not necessary. Praise him. Because after a while, it was pit, pit within and without. In other words, it was caulk with a type of caulk to keep the water out. Amen. And then he put down there in his words, said, any man get enough Holy Ghost in he got enough to keep the world out of him. Praise him. Huh? So if you get enough Holy Ghost in you, you got enough to, to keep the world out of you. Praise him. So he was saying this caulking, he described the bowls, each plank. So we are the plank. Huh? Amen. And the Holy Ghost is the caulk. That caulking to keep the world out. Amen. And if you, if you get enough Jesus in you, you don't have to worry about the world. Getting in you. Huh? Praise him. Amen. Now when the world when you start taking in the world, use like a boat that is not caught like it ought to be, and it starts water starts seeping. Yeah. How many of y'all find yourself sometime, amen, praise God, there was time that find some world seeping in. Huh? Amen. Then you had to get on your knees and get some more caulk. Yeah. Huh? And Pack some more coffee. Somebody need to get on the altar yeah. and say, do me an overlord. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Give me a new caulking job. Yeah. Praise him. Because yeah. I find little hatred sipping in. Yeah. Huh? When it's not supposed to. Yeah. Say, look at us. Oh. Praise the Lord. Yeah. There's a lot of things getting in saints not supposed to be in there. And y'all keep on staying home, not consecrating, not meditating, Amen. and not praying. You gonna find yourself sitting on the bottom of the ocean. And you know the reason why the boat is on the bottom, cause it got full of water. Boat is designed to float on the top. Of Praise the Lord. But too much world is seeking in. Uh, you know, in the hours, I'm on, uh, you probably already know, but I just want to question you remember. When you start feeling like it's no harm for this,
man, let that woman go to church. Praise him. Tell me all want is. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. We have brought to you Amen. Word. Move the stone out of the way. If you get rid of the stone, God will do the rest. God is and God will. You make the right preparation, God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. Yes. I want to say to you that interested and really wants the Holy Ghost. We have a time committee here. Amen. Deacon Moe, stand up, Deacon. He's the chairman of the committee. And there's others that work with him in this time committee. And after this service, praise God, amen, you can go upstairs and he'll tire you. Amen, him and those that work with him. Praise the Lord. Amen, it's time for somebody to get saved. Amen. You want to see a change in your life, in your home, in your surrounding? You make a change. And God can do something for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you got to do what you can do. Jesus asked them to move the stone because they didn't want to put it there. And they could move. But what they couldn't do, they couldn't really the clouds. So Jesus did that. Amen. You can't give yourself the Holy Ghost. But you can make preparation. You can believe. And you can receive. Praise the Lord. Do we have any here today that have not been baptized? and water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And after hearing the word of God, he wants to make a start. Amen. Praise God if you repent it in your heart. And you want to be baptized. If there be one, we're going to ask you to manifest it by standing. Time is running out on you. He said, the day you hear my voice, Hard not your heart. Now is the time. Now is the acceptable time. Do we have one? 